Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel guys just doing a uh, video recorded like this with no graphics uh, just because there's like three different stories and three breaking stories that I want to cover here on the channel right now um, and it saves me time making three separate videos. Uh, sorry for the, the, the setup here at the moment. Um, hopefully this will be amended in the next couple of days. Well not hopefully that it will be amended in the next couple of days. Uh, as I said guys three uh, huge stories to talk about here in the Scottish Premiership uh, but before we do get into video guys hit that like button and subscribe the first story is that all well, 41 out of 42 clubs have voted to implement VAR into the Scottish Premiership next season which is massive uh, for Scottish football of course a lot of been, there's been a lot of groans um, a lot of fans voicing their opinions wanting VAR in and it is now going to happen next season uh, the SPFL uh, sort of released a statement a little earlier on uh, basically saying that they will be implementing it um, after the World Cup in Qatar in 2022. Again, look, is the SVFL running things? And usually those things don't run smoothly. Uh, and, you know, why they're implementing it after the World Cup. So basically, to summarise, uh, the start of next season is going to have no VAR. Uh, they're going to have the break and then the, the second half of the season will have VAR. Again, to speak, to keep the integrity of the competition, I thought maybe they should probably implement it at the 23-24 season just so we don't have a, a crazy season where half the season has got no VAR and the other half of the season has got VAR. But look, as I say, um, it wouldn't be the SPFL if uh, things the things were running uh, plain sailing. But basically... Uh, they said uh, this vote, uh, sorry, SPFL clubs have voted uh, at their general meeting today to approve the introduction of VAR technology at the Cinch Premiership matches next season. The vote means that VAR technology will be installed at every Premiership ground over the coming months uh, with a full launch expected to following the conclusion of the World Cup in 2022. Um, the to they went on to sort of talk about the total costs of the introduction of VAR, uh, basically saying it will be £1.2 million per season following an independent financial review and the costs and benchmarking exercises carried out by the European leagues. Um, basically, how they're going to pay for this is... Uh, the Premiership winners will pay approximately £195,000 per season with a sliding scale to the 12th club, which will pay around £67,000. So depending on where you finish in the league will determine how much you pay. Um, so, you know, 99 times out of 100, it's going to be over Rangers and Celtic in the top two. So they're going to take the bulk of... Um, they're going to take the bulk of the expenses uh, and that's just how it will be. But, you know, rightfully so, I suppose Rangers sell to other richer clubs and uh, I think I'll have majority of the fans that have been voicing uh, for, for VAR. So yeah, rightfully so, they should be paying that. But £200,000 is, is is nothing when it comes to getting the right decisions which could determine, you know, Champions League pots now, European spaces, etc, etc, which with more money on the line. Um, so yeah, there you go, guys. That is that. Uh, the SPFL will implement... Uh, VAR next season and it will come after the Qatar World Cup so we're going to have half a season without it and then the other half with it uh, the second news of today literally broke as I was just uh, reading that one out there and that is that the SPFL have confirmed that they are going to reschedule uh, the fixture for Motherwell and Rangers due to Rangers progressing into the Europa League semi-final um, a lot of fans didn't have hope for this well a lot of Rangers fans didn't have hope that the SPFL would reschedule uh, said match um, due to, you know, 2008, 2003 being the um, the stories where both Rangers Celtic got to the final of a European competition and the SPFL didn't help out whatsoever. Um, but basically, they have said here today, a spokesman for the SPFL said, we received a request from Rangers to bring forward their game away to Motherwell, which was scheduled for Sunday the 24th of April to the previous day, giving Rangers more time to prepare for their Europa League semi-final against RB Leipzig. We're very pleased to be able to accommodate this request and the Motherwell versus Rangers game will now be rescheduled to Saturday the 23rd of April with a 12 o'clock kickoff. We would like to record our sincere appreciation to Motherwell Sky Sports and Police Scotland for accommodating this change and wish Rangers the very best of luck in their European campaign look have we uh, have we moved forward now with the SFA look this has uh, come after Leicester both Leicester and West Ham had their um, their games sort of rescheduled in the league obviously for them guys getting into the Europa League semi-final and the Europa Conference League semi-final if you're Leicester um, so yeah I mean it was I think there would have been a lot of backlash if, uh, if if the SFA didn't help out Rangers as well 
Um, but they have. And uh, Rangers game against Motherwell now will not take place on the Sunday, but on the Saturday. Um, so they will get that extra day and a half or so to uh, prepare for that massive, massive clash against RB Leipzig in uh, the Europa League semi-final. So that is uh, another a bit of big news there, guys. Uh, lastly, guys, it is uh, are going to Hibernian. And of course, this morning, uh, Hibernian have sacked their manager, Sean Maloney. Uh, Maloney obviously appointed, I think, was it back in December? Spent a bit of money in January as well. Again, I'm not for managers getting dismissed this earlier on. I don't think um, you can really gauge someone right now. I thought Sean Maloney did did fairly well, particularly uh, in, in the bigger games. But look... Um, Again, he's not, he's not been given the time. This is just the day and age now with management. Um, and Hibs basically confirmed on their website. They said in a statement, Hibernian FC can confirm that Sean Maloney is the part of the club as first team manager. Gary Caldwell, uh, Valerio Zadudas and Brian Dogan have also left with immediate effect. Um, Executive Chairman Ronald Gordon commented, I hope in appointing Sean Maloney as a young, highly regarded coach uh, was that he would help us take the club forward but ultimately it didn't work out we thank Sean and his coaching staff for all their hard work and efforts and wish them all the best for the future David Gray will take charge of the first team as caretaker manager for the remainder of the 21-22 campaign and will be supported by Eddie May and John Butch no no further comment will be made at this time Um, so there you go guys yeah Hibs have um, dismissed their manager Again, whether I agree with that or not, I probably don't. I think she should give coaches a bit of time. He's not really had the time uh, to, put, to put his own sort of stamp on it. Yes, he had one window, but you need a sort of summer. Hibs have been in a mess for a little while now, even under Jack Ross. Um, but, you know, rumour has it the, the, the Hibernian board uh, were flabbergasted by their semi-final performance. And it has just been a really, really poor uh, ball campaign for Hibs. I remember staying at the start of the season. Um, I expect Hibs to build upon what they did last year. They had a really good campaign, sort of kept their players, didn't sell anyone like your Doigs, Porteuses, uh, and Nisbets. Of course, they got rid of Boyle, but the, the, the problems had started before Boyle had left anyway. So, um, yeah, I mean, look, they need to get it right. It has been really, really poor. You know, finishing outside the top six is is a dismiss uh, is is a sackable offence. And of course, um, you could they could have salvaged their season by getting to the final, but. Uh, obviously weren't able to do that and uh yeah now he's uh now he's sacked Sean Maloney I mean uh rumor has it Kevin Thompson uh may be appointed next obviously done a great job at Kelty Hearts uh highly regarded as a, as a coach um a lot of people talk very very highly of him obviously an ex Hibernian player um uh, knows the premiership well winner with Rangers um and yeah he's done well as I said done really really well with uh Kelty Hearts got them to probably won the league uh by a canter by the way so I, I I probably would I would maybe go with Kevin Thompson but Look, I'm sure uh, they'll take their time with this one, probably get into the summer and, and see what's what. Uh, but guys, that brings us to the end of today's um, big SBFL news video. Um, as I say, three massive talking points there. Guys, get your thoughts and opinions on VAR in the Premiership, firstly. Secondly, um, the SFA rescheduling Rangers fixture. Was that the, the right thing to do or not? And uh, lastly, what are your thoughts on Hibs sacking Sean Maloney and who you think will be appointed next? Thank you so much, troops. I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Peace.